One thing we're going to do here with our cowl is instead of using fasteners to attach the top to the bottom, we're going to use a, a hinge system. Basically the hinge will be attached to the bottom and the other half of the hinge will be attached to the top and then removing the top from the bottom will be a matter of simply removing the pin This cowling is, has been installed using uh, piano hinges. What you've got is a hinge holding the two halves together and a hinge holding the bottom cowling to the aircraft. There are no fasteners up along the top. The way that uh, structurally this was the designed was uh, with the intent that the hinge that's on the side on both sides of the airplane is a very strong hinge. It's actually an extruded hinge. It's not the kind that has a little loop that's bent over. They're very expensive, um, maybe three or four times as much money as the other style. Aircraft Spruce does carry both styles. When you look in their catalog, you're not really sure which one. The one that's three times as much money is the extruded one. <laughs> so you definitely want to use that here. Get one that's about an inch and a half wide uh, that's how they sell them and maybe get uh, like a three-footer to be able to do this side and that side. By doing this area structurally very sound with a heavy-duty hinge on both sides, it essentially cantilevers the whole bottom cowling and makes it structural and strong enough that the top is now just a lid which enables you to not have to have a hinge here. What you might want to do is put some anti-chafing material underneath here because fiberglass is very abrasive on aluminum. To remove, as you can see, there's not uh, an access panel for the oil or to inspect anything on this airplane. Part of that is deliberately done because what you do with this cowling when it's built this way it's rather than having a little hole to look through, you just take the whole top off, and then you can see everything. So that makes it real easy for inspection. We have a little bit of anti-chafing here. This was actually just a little bit of tape that was put on that can be replaced. Depending on how tight your fit is when you're fitting the cowling, you can determine how thick you want this at the end. The hinges uh, that we have used are extruded all the way. There's a little bit more money, like I said, but you don't use that much of it. Now, as you see, we have this hinge sticking up a little bit. I think that's probably the easiest. Some people say uh, having the hinge stick up a little bit, little bit more than the, the split line so that when you look at it from the side, you don't actually see through uh, because it's hidden here. Also, by having it up like that, I think it just kind of helps guide the cowling back in place when you when you reinstall it. Now, of course, it takes a little bit of fitting um, to make everything go together perfect, but it's not really hard. And uh, for instance, you kind of build a technique um, of how to put it back together as you go. Uh, what we have done is after the installation is completed, uh, we order in some hinge pins that are a few thousands or about ten thousands smaller than the original. We use the full size pin to install the hinge and then we use the, the smaller hinge pin later uh, in order to make it easy to, uh, to put the thing on or take the thing off. Now, putting it back together you, you will develop a method like I said. Uh, part, of, part of what you kind of want to make sure of is that at the ends here you cut away a little bit of cowling and so that you can see the first hinge uh, loop and then maybe give it a couple of taps as you put the pin in it goes in pretty easy you don't need and you should not feel like oh I'm, I'm making a big sacrifice or I'm, I'm cheating I'm putting a thinner pin or anything like that in because they're not hinges they're all these little loops are actually holding the cowling together it's like having uh, you know, 50 screws. It's it's very very strong. Now doing the other side, um, 
what I do with my other hinge pin. I drop it over here, maybe. Yep. It's the same as that side, but now, depending on how tight the cowling is, I usually kind of do the one side that's easy first, and if I have a handle, like I've got a handle here for the, for the air intake, I'll use that to kind of bring the cowling into position, and then it goes, you know, goes in nice and easy. So it's not hard to do. Um, it has a lot of advantages because, uh, you know, you don't have to get a screwdriver out. Um, obviously, once this is riveted, the hinge is permanently on the fiberglass and then permanently on the airplane. So at that point, there's no wear and tear. If these were screws, guess what? I don't care how careful you are. This cowling is going to want to try to kind of sag. Um, and the holes are going to get elongated. And then eventually put this on. And this alignment is no longer correct. So over the years... Uh, so this, this is our preferred method and uh, really goes together good.